and things like that. What it meant to be sustainable changed for me. What it meant to live authentically changed for me. Hi, welcome to Simply Intentional. My name is Katie. I'm on a journey to live my most fulfilling life and hopefully inspire others to do the same. Come along as I figure out my 30s one day at a time. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my adventures. Hi friends, welcome back. It is raining today in the West Coast. We've had some like absolutely amazing spring-like weather. I've got my vegetable garden planted and I've just been sort of trying to figure out like where I'm going with my pro spring projects and planning hikes and just getting really into it. So that's been great. And I've been thinking a lot about the content that I've been making and you know, building off the idea of last week's video, of like what didn't work for me and that kind of thing. And what I wanted to talk about today is why I don't make sustainability content anymore. That was actually my original intent with this channel was to make sustainability content, zero waste content. That was what I was really into at the time. That's what I was super passionate about. And while I do think a lot of those things are important, there are actually specific reasons why I stopped making that content. And that is what we're gonna get into today. One of the main reasons I stopped making sustainability content or zero waste content is quite frankly, just like an oversaturation of the subject. It became something that everyone was talking about, or at least everyone that I was watching and all the different posts and even my friends were starting to like really get into this idea. And so while I'm always gonna be someone that thinks that the more of us that are speaking on a subject will amplify it and the more voices and the more interest we bring to topics, the better it will be for everyone because you never know who's gonna resonate with you. You could see a couple of different creators talking about the same thing, but there's gonna be someone whose personality you like, whose video styles you like and that kind of stuff. And so while it is valuable and if you wanna make that content, go ahead, go for it. For me, because I was a beginner and I didn't really know what I was doing, I ended up sort of making the same content that I've seen everywhere else. And there's, we all know by now that we need to use reusable water bottles. We all know by now that we should have metal straws and avoid single use plastics and recycle and all of that kind of stuff. So for me, I just didn't have a lot to add to the subject. Um, the second part of that was is that the term zero waste was like incredibly problematic like really quickly and I think that it's something that we really shouldn't be using. It's not realistic unless you are literally growing all your own food, producing it, preserving yourself, making your own clothes. Like there's always going to be waste somewhere in the production of something and it's toss up of like two parts. One that you think that you're making a bigger impact than you are, not that you can't make an impact, but no product is truly zero waste unless it's vegetables you're growing yourself. Um, secondly, there comes a lot of guilt with this and this is something that I really struggled with and why I like would take breaks from making content because you begin to feel like if you're not doing it perfectly the way that like you assume someone on the internet is because you're only seeing their highlights, then you end up feeling really guilty and you feel like you're lying to people and when I would buy something packages I'd feel weird about it and I would end up like not buying things I needed or wanted because of the packaging or because of the production method and I ended up just being consumed by this idea of like being perfectly sustainable and perfectly zero waste and like there's lots of swaps that I made that I loved um, and there's lots of swaps that I made that I hated and skincare is something that I'm willing to like produce a little bit more waste around because like the zero waste face, face wash and moisturizer does not work on my 34 year old skin anymore. Another part of it too is just the, not all of them, but some of the communities that came up around this online ended up just being like another form of like sub beige zero waste and you had to like eat out of mason jars and only wear brown linen clothes and have those all the perfectly aesthetic pieces and it became a separate form of consumerism where you have to have the certain reusable water bottle and you have to use certain reusable bags and have this aesthetic and make your own makeup and there was no messiness to it, I guess, and a lot of what I was seeing, and that's not reality. And we shouldn't be promoting consumption when 99% of us have perfectly good water bottles and perfectly good Tupperware in our cupboards. And we don't need to go out and buy new metal containers because that's what everyone else is using, because that makes no sense, you know? 
So that was another part of it too, like I just wanted to make sure that I was promoting what I truly believed in and giving a realistic view of my life. And another piece to all of this is that, I know I said it in other videos, but this is a journey that I'm sort of taking you guys along for the ride on. And as I became more aware of what I was doing, as I developed new skills and new understandings about who I am and became really intentional with my time and the books I was reading and things like that, what it meant to be sustainable changed for me what it meant to live authentically changed for me and I want to bring people along as I do that because your viewpoints are going to change, your values are going to change and so much of being intentional and understanding who you are so you can act with the most integrity for yourself is actually just being honest about when things change and accepting that about yourself and so if I can show that progression through these series that I do and through the things that I talk about, then I think that's really important because I want to normalize that so much because we have such an ingrained idea that we are who we are, things can't change, what we do can't change, where we live can't change, all these different ideas that we've sort of internalized and none of that's true. And your hopes and dreams can change year by year and that's totally fine. And as long as you're working and growing and actually doing meaningful things for yourself, then you're on the right path. For me, what really is sustainable is finding swaps in your life that are more eco-conscious, that work for the way you live your life, um, for building foundational values. So as opposed to attempting to produce no garbage, which was a wild thing that I did try to do, and I think there's a video like way back on the channel about that. Um, do what works for you, find ways that work with what you care about most in terms of caring for the planet, caring for yourself, and work within those structures. If you know what you care about most, and for me, I would rather buy something local than something that was without packaging. That makes more sense to me. It makes more sense for me to buy the chicken that came from the farm down the road that is in styrofoam versus chicken from who knows where that is wrapped in paper, you know? So those are the kinds of things that I came to understand as sustainable for myself. For someone else, not using the styrofoam might be a more important aspect to them. And you need to figure out what that is. Um, you also have to relax. You know, we're all doing our best. We are all attempting to create sort of ideal lives for ourselves based on what works for us. And for me, going back to the skincare thing, like I could easily find skincare products that were all in bar form and that didn't come in plastic packaging and all those stuff and it didn't work. I didn't love it. It didn't work. My skin was getting really dry and uncomfortable and it was itchy and so I went back to using a more traditional like in a plastic bottle face wash. Half of the line comes in glass which is great. I can recycle that but I just kind of had to let that go and not get all worked up about it when it was happening. Uh, Another one that was like an absolute fail that I loathed so much was any type of like alternative toothpastes. Like, no, please give me a plastic tube with fluoride in it. I can't cope with the like, what are they called? Like the bites or those like toothpaste tabs. That texture haunts me, haunts me to this day. I tried to convince myself so hard. I was like, these are great. Love these. Don't love these. Did not, were not great. And so, I'm not gonna beat myself up over plastic toothpaste tubes and I'm not going to buy products because they're a swap when it's actually a product I don't even need. That makes no sense to me. And so for me, a more sustainable thing that I do that is more impactful for my mental health, for my physical health and all those things is I've started growing my own food. This is my second year gardening. I've planted a bunch of extra things this year. So maybe my next video, I'll do a little garden tour when things are actually blooming because right now they're just kind of living under the dirt. Um, but that's been great for me. I'm learning new skills, which is helping my brain. I'm producing some of my own food so I know where it's coming from. It's extra local because it's two steps out my door and I love it. Like I'm outside, I'm digging, I'm working, I'm in the sunshine. And it's just something that works for me. And for me, spending my time doing that versus trying to hunt down a dish soap that isn't in a plastic container, it just isn't... That isn't what's gonna make me happy and I know that and uh, 
I spend my time gardening instead and that's more sustainable for me because it's better for my mental health, it's better for my physical health, and I'm learning a new skill, which is one of my favorite things because if you're not learning and growing, you are in fact dying. I mean, it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't lastly bring up my favorite topic, capitalism. Uh, the most sustainable thing that you can do is become intentional with your time and your life and discover what your true values and passion and purpose is and divest yourself of these ideas of needing to have the newest thing because it's new, of buying the latest device because it's the latest device, of replacing your car every three years. That's going to be the most sustainable thing you do and if you can intrinsically understand that your value is not built on the value of your possessions, then you are going to be in a much better place to set yourself free financially, disengage from a system that is actively harming people on the planet, and you will be able to just be a more sustainable human simply by understanding your own worth. Um, that goes hand in hand with companies not being accountable for their own ways, the damage they're doing and those kinds of things, and becoming truly sustainable. Not greenwash, not a new green deal, but actually just shifting the way we as a society value what we own and value the planet uh, without those aspects, then none of the other pieces are really going to matter. But I will leave it at that. Um, let me know down in the comments what you think of this subject and what sustainability means to you. All right, my dudes, that is what I have for you this week. Please like this video if you liked it. Uh, check out some of my other videos. I've got a ton of content on capitalism, sustainability, and uh, my early videos are like real cringe. And I feel like I'm making like much better quality videos now and I'm way more comfortable making these. So uh, keep that in mind if you go back to my first couple of vids. And yeah, subscribe to the channel if you want to check out some more stuff like this. I'm also on Instagram and TikTok and I have a blog, which I will link below. There's a blog post with the companies in this video. It talks about a lot of the same stuff. Uh, yeah, and as always, I'm super happy for you to watch all the way to the end. Thank you so much for being here. Every one of you matters so much to me and I will catch you in the next one.